everyone and good morning and happy Friday. It is Friday, I think the 5th, Friday the 5th today. Um, and I'm going to do a, now I'll either do a daily vlog if I don't get enough today or I'll do a weekly kind of vlog like, cause I haven't done really one of them for a while, but I'll see how I go today. I've got a lot to do today actually. Um, first up, in my active wear, ready to go for a walk. It's been raining in the morning here and haven't gone for a walk low key, been a little bit fluey. So today we're going, getting back into our walks in the morning. I'm taking my Oxy Shred, um, the gummy snakes, still loving it. Ned loves it too. It's uh, a really nice flavor. If you like those killer pythons, so good. Um, you can get it from Elite Subs and of course, discount code um, which I will leave in the link below in here uh, so today I need to go get groceries um, because we have run out of things in the fridge and Ned actually has gone back to work yesterday for night shift so it's just big girl and I for seven days uh, so yeah as well like is that really it that I have? Oh, I don't know. I need to do a bit of cleaning. I want to do some more tummy time stuff with... I've been doing tummy time stuff with her each day. And she's like starting to get like kind of going under her knees. Like I've been trying to get her on her knees and she's like rocking, which is awesome. But before I like go into everything... Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out. It would be amazing. I really want to reach um, 4,000 by halfway of the year. That would be awesome. So if you can, like, it would be really amazing if you could, like, get your friends and whatnot, like, to subscribe or even share my videos with someone that you know that is looking for a new YouTuber to watch. Um, that would be really awesome for you guys to do that like I love my followers I love everyone like you guys I see your comments and it makes me so excited that you're really engaging with me because that's amazing I'm so sorry if I don't get to you straight away I will get to you um it's just very hard with her like a baby like to try and like do all that but I try and engage with you ASAP on Instagram so if you really do have something to ask me definitely ask me over there because I'm on that more um, because I have to actually go into YouTube to check my notifications whereas I get when I have DMs I can see them um, but yeah if you really have something to ask me definitely ask me on my Instagram um, as well don't forget to follow me on my Instagram which would be awesome um, I post every day uh, so don't miss a post or anything because I post it all on there but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just taking my Oxy Shred at the moment. And also I need to discuss the elephant in the room if you've kind of half seen it already. I have extensions. So yesterday I went and got um, nano bead extensions. So they're very little nano bead and I got them in yesterday I do have to go back and get a few more in just because I didn't have it like we didn't have enough and I want it a little bit more fuller and thicker and I'll probably cut like I'm like trying to figure out like what um she was like don't let's not cut any like we'll cut it but not cut much off just so you can get a feel for it but definitely want to cut probably like that much off so I like I love the length like don't get me wrong love love it but I just f find that um, when I have it out it's a little bit too long like a mermaid hair and I don't want it to look too fake if you get what I mean like yeah so I thought I'll just give it a bit more cut and it will probably a bit, bit, bit more maintainable like I'm used to extensions anyway like I've had clip-ins that many times and everything and I slept on them last night I put them in a braid so I just plaited them 
and slept in them and they were fine like they don't hurt at all um i wasn't sure how i was gonna go because i haven't had them in a very long time i probably haven't had them for like eight years well not the nanos i used to have the glue ones but yeah they just they feel fine like I don't even notice them at all. It's interesting going through my hair though when I go do like go through like my hair like that. And I'm like, oh, I can you can feel them, but it's just like doesn't bother me. But yeah, and I need to tone them too. So I'm going to because I've got swimming. Well, that's another thing. We've started swimming, so we're doing swimming every Saturday. So we went last week, and Ned was in the pool with her. Now it's my turn this week and um, yeah, I'm going to wait till after that because I want to tone it, like I'll have to wash my hair so I'll have to tone them. So I've just got like, you can do the purple shampoo but dip them in water or I've got the gold bowl stuff that I use in my hair. So I'll probably just be doing that. Hey everyone, I'm just coming on here to let you guys know that this part of the video is sponsored. It is sponsored by Noah The Label and they are a jewelry manufacturer in Australia, which is amazing. I love supporting Australian brands and you guys know that I love jewelry. I wear jewelry all the time and I love looking for new trendy pieces and that's what Noah The Label has. They have really gorgeous pieces really trendy, a lot of layering pieces, and actually I found something that I've always wanted to get um, as well. So I'll show you the pieces that I picked up from No Other Label. I will leave here um, their website details and especially go and follow them on Instagram because their aesthetic of their Instagram is amazing. It's like my dream aesthetic if I were to put um, a jewelry line out there but yeah definitely go and follow them on there and I'll show you guys the pieces that I picked up so I've been looking for these rings everywhere and I've just seen them on so many people and they just look so beautiful it's something different to what I usually wear but they're more for glam nights and going out so I picked up these two rings now this is the first ring that I picked up. Probably easy to show you. It's very sparkly and very beautiful. So it's called the Endless Love Ring and it is cubic zirconia and sterling silver. And I think it looks so beautiful. Like if you were going out like like being glam and whatnot, that's why what I picked it up for. I want it to be like more of a special kind of ring of going out and whatnot. So I picked it up to fit on this finger here. And I think this is the size 7 that I picked up. And it just looks like that. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And I did pick it up in silver because I do wear silver and gold together. I love both and I can't part with just one. I love kind of the two tones. So... I picked it up in a silver and I think it just looks so nice. I could see like a really nice two-piece kind of um, like your bando and like a really long skirt, like a mini skirt bodycon kind of outfit. And this would just look so nice. It is so blingy. I absolutely love it. So that was the first one that I picked up. The next one that I picked up is called the Eternity Ring and it is, um, I picked it up in gold and it's this beautiful, I don't know if it, yeah, beautiful ring, absolutely beautiful. I picked it up in size 7 again so I could again like put it on the same finger or if I wanted to I can fit it on my thumb which is really nice that I can actually do that. Or as well, I can fit it on my other finger as well. I like to interchange and change up my kind of look of wearing different rings. So yeah, I do love this ring as well. I wanted a gold one just so I had a silver and a gold. And I just couldn't not stop looking at these beautiful, like, shiny rings. And I've always wanted a couple just to, like, have in my collection. Something a little bit different, something that really like will pop on a night out like the glam like yeah I absolutely love it um 
but yeah i think these are so beautiful and the last piece that i picked up are some earrings now i have been seeing these earrings all over online and i was obsessed and of course no other label had them and they are these rope earrings so they just look like that they look absolutely beautiful on i've already worn them out and they didn't hurt my ears or anything uh, they were very comfortable and they looked really really nice i will put them in my ears right now to show you guys but um i've been like again i've been obsessing with gold so i did pick them up in gold um and yeah what i wore with it was just um i didn't wear any necklace or anything i literally just wore these and a black top and some jeans and it really looked like elegant and nice so it's just like the little stud at the back and you just slide them through like so so that's like one side that looks what it looks like so that's what they look like in so yeah i would style these as well like with a really nice black dress or even like a white blousey top with some jeans oh and just like the statement earrings like these are just a statement earring oh i'm obsessed with them and they feel really comfortable and like i said um they didn't hurt my ears or anything like the heaviness i've had earrings before that are very very heavy and like after a set for, like certain amount of time they hurt uh but yeah no these ones are nice they are got a little bit of weight to them so they don't feel cheap or anything um but yeah they just look really nice and how as well i wore them is I put my hair in a slick bun back so you could really show off the earrings. Yeah, and they looked really nice with my outfit. So I'm really happy with the choices that I picked up from Noah. Uh, I would really like to thank Noah the label because these pieces are really, really beautiful. Like I said, I've already worn the earrings and I can't wait to wear the rings. I am going somewhere very soon um, and I'll be wearing my white outfit that i've already posted on my instagram and i thought that will look really nice with the um silver ring i think that would look so nice with it so i'm excited to wear them i also wanted to say that noah also has free express shipping um on orders on all orders over a hundred dollars in australia they do do well while shipping which is awesome so yeah, definitely check out Noah the label. You'll find some really beautiful pieces. I'm already eyeing um, a few more things off their site that I really want to get myself, either maybe for Valentine's Day coming up. Uh, so definitely check them out. And if you do any get anything from their website, tag me in Instagram or let me know in the comments below. That would be really amazing. And as well, I've left all the links to the rings and the earrings and also no other label uh down below so you, that's an easy click if you really liked any of the pieces that i picked up but yeah let's get back into the video We just got back from our walk. Look, we're both red. What are you red for? Huh? What are you, you didn't even walk. You just stayed at the pram. Well, we just got back from that. Oh, I'm ready for some breakfast. What are you ready for? You ready to do a poo? It's usually poo time, so. <laughs> I'm gonna make some breakfast. I don't really have much in the house. Because I've got to go grocery shopping today, but I think I could probably make some scrambled eggs or something. I was gonna make a smoothie, but I know I just feel like some eggs. Hey, but yeah, we're gonna do that. So yeah, oh, that cut on your head. I really need to cut your nails. Mm. Yeah, that's what happens when your baby girl has long nails, and but they just grow every time I cut them. <sighs> Mummy's not good, is she? Oh well. But yeah, let's make some breakfast. Okay, 
Okay, so I just made my scrambled eggs. It's literally just three eggs and a bit of cream and some salt. Very plain, bland, but that's what I like. And I don't have anything else in the fridge. Um, I've been trying to like keep my water up. Um, so I try and get through this the whole day. Like it is hard. I don't like the taste of water. Like I do sometimes and then I, like after a long walk, I like the taste of water, but like, yeah. Something that Ned does and I've started to do is get just the diet cordial and then add like a bit of flavor in it just so it's a little bit better. But <clears throat> yeah, I can tolerate that. Um, also, I need to take my vitamins. I still take my JS Health vitamins and I'm actually running out of them, but the vitamins by good, the good vitamin, good for me, yeah. Um, and then I'll probably just go on to another vitamin after that. I've got a few that I have at home. Um, so, yeah, I need to... Oh, I'm just going to put these like this for a second. I need to take vitamins because um, I get sick really easy, especially having the surgery. You get really sick because your immune system is just short. So... Yeah, and when I get sick, big girl gets sick because she's with me 24-7, so she's probably got a really good immune system now. But, yeah. And I like, I don't know why, but I like gummy vitamins. I'm not the biggest fan of vitamins, but, or anything, like taking anything, like pill form. But, hmm. I get a lot of people as well, like, this isn't sponsored or anything, but asking me about these. Now, I have been like, okay, like I said, I'm the worst at taking vitamins, but I take, I try and take these every day. I will miss a couple of days because I'm just that person that forgets. Um, but I have gone through, I think three bottles of these. I think I can't remember how many gone through and I'm almost up to my next bottle um, but I really like them so if you guys have been following my hair journey um, you would have seen that I lost a lot of hair up in this region um, and now it's like getting a lot better like my fringe like that's how long my fringe is now it used to be like there so it's grown that much. So I'm really happy with that, how that's going. Um, so yeah, I think it's because I've been like really looking after my hair with Olaplex and stuff. I'm not allowed to use Olaplex actually anymore. The shampoo and conditioner for, with having extensions. I can use the, um, what is it? The treatment in my hair. Um, just at the front of my hair and that's where my problem area is anyway the front of my hair once a week but I'm gonna let use a shampoo conditioner because it's got protein in it and that will like strip the beads so I have to use a vegan friendly no oils um, so yeah that's what I've got to use and I just got some I think it's called milkshake or something and it's got a bit of volume in it which is pretty good so that will really help me help with my extensions and lasting longer um, but yeah yeah so I'm gonna eat my breakfast play with big girl and probably end up going to the shopping center my mom's gonna come with me so I can shop and she can look after sage walk around a bit but mm. And if anyone asks and they want to know where they got, I got my water bottle from, Kmart. I don't know the size, like what the literage of this is. Like it doesn't say, it says cylinder bottle, but it doesn't say like how much is in it, which is annoying, but it looks like a liter bottle. Like it's pretty big, but yeah. So that's my water bottle that I keep. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys. Sage gets her own PR. 
yeah that's she gets stuff which is awesome like it's helped me out a lot but I've got two parcels for her um, one is from this oh wait now is that the no that's not the I don't know if that's the company yeah Louis Petit so it's like L O U I E Petit which it looks like this um, she got like a blanket so it's pretty much just a white blanket I'll get it out later just because I could do like I want to do like a cute photo for Instagram for it but I'll get that out and we just got one yesterday um, from Bodie and Delilah so Bodie and Delilah is um, like Yapoon it's like a um, small business in Yapoon which I love supporting small businesses and look how cute the packaging is like look how cute that is so I'm going to open it up for you guys and show you what I have no idea what's inside so I'm excited to see as well oh my god this is such a cute little set oh I love the little pants and the top and it's got the bib that is so cute I can't wait to put her in this set pretty Ned are you a pretty Ned yeah. Are you pretty, Dad? Look at you. Are you gonna smile? Gonna laugh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, try that. <laughs> she likes it. Okay, so it's like 3.15 at the moment. I went to the shops and got my groceries and then we went out for lunch. We just went to the pub and got some lunch. But I thought I'd show you guys my grocery haul. I'll probably as well do a weekly vlog just because um, I know I didn't get enough footage today. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. Start off over here. Um, I saw these and they look pretty cool. I got these for Ned and for me to try, but mostly for Ned anyway. It looks like migraine and Japanese teriyaki. Got myself some milk, some juice. I am so excited for this. I'm obsessed with iced tea and keen to try this. It's like little sachet things. If it focuses, but yeah, keen for that. Just got some stock, chicken stock and vegetable stock. Some diet coil ran out of this one. Olive oil, canned corn, pizza, sauce, um, some more pineapple, some salami for my pizzas, um, some mints. I picked up some more parmesan cheese. Um, it's gonna focus, champagne ham, some tasty cheese some feta so if you guys seen the tiktok thing going around i picked up some feta and some small cherry roman tomatoes so i can do that pasta it looks freaking good sour cream some dips so i've got carrots that i can now like just something to snack on i've been looking for one of these for so long um it's just for like your coffee thing yeah Avocados, but there was no ripe avocados. So these are bloody hard. So I won't even get to have them um, Some corn thins pasta for that thing bread rolls and um, Some toast or bread or whatever um, Normal cherry tomatoes the Roma tomatoes Picked up these because I love them and they're good just for a little snack um, I picked up them to try them as well yeah eggs chicken thigh so I'm gonna freeze that and um, I want to do like chicken burgers with the um, bread rolls I need to get all this out but I got a capsicum um, some garlic some broccoli and zucchini I want to make 
zucchini fritters with ham. That's why I got the ham and the corn. Um, lettuce, carrot, and more mushrooms for my risotto because I'm obsessed with risotto. So yeah, that is literally my grocery haul. Are you sitting up, Sagey? Are you sitting up? Are you sitting up? Yeah. So we're learning to sit uh, at the moment. See, she's still kind of like not sitting up straight, but we're learning still. Like she's kind of like that. She's holding herself. You'll get there. We just got to keep getting you sitting up. Hey, we do have the bumbo, um, but I feel, um, I don't know. It probably will straighten her back a bit more, but better than sitting like this. But I want her to learn to like kind of sit up herself. Hey, you want to sit up yourself? Hey, yeah. Um, and also we've been doing, learning how to get on your hands and knees. Hey, yeah? Yeah? Having fun? You gonna sit up? All right, but yeah, that's all we're doing this afternoon. And then either we're gonna go over to um, my mum and dad's for dinner. Yeah, they I think my nephews and Van's back from the hospital from Brisbane. So he had his anoids and tonsils removed. So we wanna see him. Um, so we'll probably go there to for dinner if they come around. <laughs> And then tomorrow, we've got swimming lessons in the morning. So, 9 o'clock every Saturday, Sage does swimming lessons. Yeah. You're wondering who I'm talking to, aren't you? <laughs> and there's a dog howling. And there goes my dog. <laughs> Is that Arlo? Hello. Oh my god, that dog sounds like it's dying over there. Hi everyone, um, happy Saturday. So we went to swimming this morning at nine o'clock and then we went to Whist and had some breakfast and coffee with mum. Um, we're just home now. Uh, she's got a poo. Hey, <laughs> what's with the belly button? Um, so I'm going to change her. I don't really have anything planned for today. Um, yeah. Nothing really going on. I do need to wash my hair and my extensions. So I'll have to do that today. Um, I tried painting my nails. They look really bad. But from afar they don't look that bad. But with something like nude and then like a line or something. I don't know, I'm just trying to like do some fun stuff with my nails because I don't know, I actually have them like they're my real nails. I just want to like do some fun things. I'll just have to get better at doing it. That's my left hand too, like yeah, no that's my right hand. I can't do anything on my left and on my right hand I have like a short one because I accidentally broke it off, but yeah, anyways. We're probably gonna chill out and then I really, what time is it? Oh, it's 12 o'clock, wow. Um, I really wanna make that, so it's been going around on TikTok, the um, pasta with the feta 
and the tomatoes. I really want to make that, so I'm going to have a go at making that um, today. So I'll probably make that like this afternoon, maybe, or even for lunch, and then I can have it for dinner. Um, what else, big girl? I don't know. We're going to put something on to watch because I kind of want a nap. Like, I'm actually really tired. Like, even though she slept from, like, 7 till 6, I didn't go to bed until late anyway. Because, like, I still need to have dinner because she just wanted to go to sleep. So, yeah. I haven't really had a proper sleep. Okay, I've just put Big Girl down and washed my hair and put it in a plait. Um, to get it out of my face, but I really want to do the TikTok trend of making this pasta, the baked feta pasta. So I've got my dish here, and I just got to grab the ingredients. I don't know how well my basil is outside because I haven't watered it, but I'm also going to do like a little Instagram reel of it. So you'll probably see me do that, um, but. So excited. I think it's all you need is a block of feta, um, cherry, Roma cherry tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, and basil at the end, I think. And then, then your pasta as well. So I'm going to make that and see how I go. I made the pasta and that's what it looks like. Souls. That's that's what it looks like. I don't know how I'm gonna feel because I don't really like like cherry tomatoes like this, but you know what? I'll probably eat around it. <laughs> but I'm gonna taste it for you guys. See if it's meant to have basil, but my basil is totally not okay. Let's test it. It tastes actually really good. Mm. Okay, that is so good. I'll probably eat around the tomatoes because I hate tomatoes cooked. But other than that, it tastes so bloody good. Right, I'm going to dig into this and watch some TV. from the markets and making lunch uh, I had my family pretty much here the whole day and we just watched movies we watched Wonder Woman and Shadows in the Sky they were Shadows in the Sky was very interesting and Wonder Woman was eh. okay um, so I went to the markets I thought I'd show you guys what I got from the markets um, by the bay which I love by the bay um, Sam I, of course, wanted to support her and got a few things, mostly for Sage. Um, also, I'm cooking something to eat because I'm quite hungry at the moment. So I need to do that. I'm making um, the new Maggie's soupy noodles. So, making that and you put the water in. So I'll let that cook 
Um, but yeah, I picked up two little tiny scrunchies. I know she doesn't have hair yet, but um, I picked up these two little scrunchies. And then I picked up these cute little clips that she had. They are so cute. So I picked up that. And there was like an op shop there and I found this. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, it was a Harley Davidson like orange cutoff tee. So I'm keen for that. I might even like, I don't know how the, that will go, but I might even cut that a little bit longer. I'm not sure yet. So I picked up that. And then I picked up some sweet treats. Uh, I've been eating them. I got sliced in the fridge and then I picked up some jam drops. So good. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling out at the moment. Um, yeah, I got some like cute little photos of Seiji this morning with her new little outfit on. You guys would have seen. And yeah, we're just gonna chill out. I'm gonna make um, homemade pizzas for dinner. And yeah, I've got like new movies that I have got downloaded. So probably gonna watch uh, another movie. Um, Love and the Monsters I really wanna watch now. Ainsley, my sister-in-law showed me it and it looks really cool. So I'm gonna watch that. I've got like the new Crudes movie and what else? Oh, Greenland. Yeah. So I might watch that and my camera is flashing at me so I need to change the battery. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and eat some noodles. I thought I'd show you guys the Harley top. I'm obsessed. So yeah, that's literally what it looks like. Yeah, with jeans, looks sick as I love. I'm loving like this cut off shoulder kind of look at the moment. But yeah, that's what that looks like. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I know I said I was only going to do a weekly vlog, but, oh, not weekly. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, a weekend vlog, but I feel like I didn't get anything yesterday. Um, just because I had family over all day, pretty much. And I don't really like filming, like, around my family, just because, like, it's time, time I want to spend with them and not have to worry about filming. But, so I thought I'd just film the Monday, and that's about it, really. And then, yeah. Um, we got up at 6. Big girl woke up. Um, it is 7.30 now. I should have went for a walk, but I just, you know, you just have those days of just being tired. I feel tired. I just feel drained. Um, but I'm going to do like, probably, I don't even know. I'm going to try and do it just because I can do it at home is like the 30 day squat challenge. I just need to like do something with my bum because it's just not fun. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna try having a go at that. It's only like you do like, I can't remember like so many squats a day and then there's a rest day and then you end up doing like 220 something squats on your last one. So yeah, it's gonna hurt, but yeah. So um, I need some breakfast. I have avocados finally. So I'm gonna have avocado on toast. And I need my morning coffee to wake me up. So Munchkin is asleep, so I'm going to tackle the thing that I did not want to tackle today, but I've got to do it. Um, I need to clean my room and my closet. I don't even want to show you my closet, but I'm going to show you because this is how bad it's actually gotten. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let me just turn this light on. Shit everywhere. But... You know, I need to like figure out something else for like storage 
because this is just not cool. I don't, it gives me anxiety, but yeah. And I need to clean out stuff and put more stuff on my Depop. Um, as well, I need to tackle my clothes that have been washed. I do this to myself all the time and annoys me, but I end up leaving myself with like so much fucking washing and I need to make my bed. So I need to do that and put dirty clothes away. So yeah. And also I got a package from Amen. So excited. Um, they sent me a few things that I'm really excited for because they look so awesome. Um, I will be having a discount code soon on my Instagram. Um, I'm doing more of a, a post thing and it'll be like live for 48 hours. So definitely make sure you check out my Instagram. We have a nice clean room now. Hey, hey, hey. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, so much better. I just gotta put this stuff away and a few things on my bed, but everything else is like so much better. Okay, so Sage and I are in the kitchen now. Um, I saw on TikTok that a fella that grows avocados suggested to like do this. Um, I've got, an, well, I'm peeling it at the moment. Peeled this one, avocado pip. This one's kind of half already like going, but. What you do, as I'll stick you up here so you can see me, is you peel it and then you need like a Ziploc bag and then a paper towel and you gotta really wet the paper towel. So it's gonna be really moist. And then you wrap the paper towel around the um, avocado kit and you stick it in here and let it sit for like a few days. So I'm gonna do it to this one and I've got another one. I just need to clean up my area. Okay, so I've peeled it. Now I'm just gonna probably just use this, wet it. Cover the other. All right, Seiji, we're gonna make. We're gonna make some risotto. Yum, yum. So I need to cut up. Bring these guys down. Cut up my onion. So, I've just put some olive oil in there. I need to turn this light on. Um, so I'll put the onion in there and then I'll put the garlic as well. And then I'll fry off, I just got some Moscato. I don't have white wine, like cooking white wine. So I'm gonna have to really cook that out. <laughs> Do you want it off your foot? Yeah, so I'm gonna put that in. I'll put these over here. And then I love garlic, so I'm gonna put a lot of garlic in, and I need to change my battery filter. So 
stick and get the garlic in because I absolutely love garlic. So I'm letting that cook, I'm letting that um, wine kind of like boil out. Also I need to put this on. So you might not be able to hear me really well, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add the mushrooms, one cup of the rice. Actually I'm going to do one and a half cup. Add the chicken stock, shake. Now I'll also add one cup of water as well, just to add more water. Add some salt. done I'll put my chicken in um, this time I'm gonna fry my chicken off first and then put it in um, just so it's a little bit more cooked and then I'll add parsley as well okay so this is what the risotto looks like so far I just added some parsley in there and my chicken um, and then the next step you just got to do is add the parmesan cheese so that's the risotto I'm gonna taste test it That tastes so much better than last time. I don't think because I cooked the alcohol out of it, I went really bitter. But this time I cooked it for a little bit longer and it tastes so yummy. I don't know how the hoops are to put in um, to make up meals. So I'm gonna go eat this and watch some TV. Hey, so it is four o'clock. Um, just had our, my friend Renee come over to visit. It was very nice. Um, yeah, I'm just having a snack, um, <laughs> some carrot and dip. We're just chilling out. Gonna have a bit of playtime. Yeah, a bit of playtime. You did have another nap before. She had a half an hour nap which was good but we're just gonna have some play time now and then I'm gonna have that leftover risotto for dinner and there is a massive thunderstorm coming like severe warnings apparently so that's fun but I'm gonna end the vlog here but I'd put these down here we're gonna end the blog vlog blog vlog here um i hope you enjoyed what we got up to and everything um but yeah you want to say goodbye yeah i'll hold you up say bye bye Ta -da! <laughs> and i will see you guys next time bye